we have the Godox AD, uh, which is uh, AD 600 PM. It's a 600 watt battery powered strobe. Uh, it has high speed sync. So, what I'm trying to test is if the high speed sync works on Fujifilm cameras. So, here's a Cactus V6 version 2, and it's connected by a sync cord there. Uh, over here, we have several cameras because you asked me to test this. So we have an X-E2, an X-T10, X-T1, X-T20, X-T2, and an X-Pro2. Wait, so what we're going to do to test this is simple. We put the trigger on. Take a photo on the highest shutter speed or anything above the, the normal sync speed and we'll see if it's good. So everything here, everything here has been updated to the latest firmware and so I have the cactus. So let's do this. First the XT1. I don't know where did I put the battery. Okay. Uh, anyway, first let's use the XT20. So put the cactus on. Uh, turn it on. So what I'm, what I have to make sure when I use the cactus triggers, is the I have to set it up properly. So camera system has to be Fujifilm, flash system has to be manual flash, and then, did you get that? Mm -hmm. Flash system manual, camera system Fujifilm, and then we have to learn high speed sync. This is for Fujifilm cameras. So what I do is, uh, I go into learn high speed sync, press start, it's going to ask me to take a photo in one one thousandth of a second so I set the shutter speed take a photo crap did it work yeah and I'm going to try it again so can you see this it says learn completed so what I do now is I press the oh shh sorry I have the touch screen on so what I do now is I have to press this wheel in and to turn on did you get that hmm. forced high speed sync on so with that I'll have I have the shutter speed wait shutters I'll put down ISO okay ISO is at 200 ISO's at 200 it's uh, we're at let's say f4 and then one one thousandth of a second. So again, usually the Fu the Fujifilm cameras have a normal sync speed of one one eightieth of a second or one two fiftieth of a second. So now we're at one one thousand. Take a photo and it works. So I'm going to turn off the trigger just to satisfy you in case you don't believe me. There, it's dark. Nothing. Turn on the trigger, take another photo, and crap, what happened? Oh, high speed sync on. There. Okay, so now let's try 2000. Works. 4000. And it works. So we're at 4000 of a second, that's the maximum shutter speed that the XT20 would go. So. Uh, works on the XE20. Uh, it doesn't work on the XE2 Echo 2. I tried it earlier. I made sure everything is correct. All the settings are correct, but it doesn't work. So I think it works on everything else. So let's go through this one by one. E20 works, and now let's try the XE2. The battery. Okay, come closer. Put the trigger on, lock it, uh, 
settings, learn high speed sync, put the camera on one one thousandth of a second, take a shot, learn completed, set the ISO to for testing, I'm going to set it to ISO 200, so ISO 200, one one thousandth of a second, and F4, take a shot, okay, Force high speed sync is on. Take a shot, nothing happens. The flash doesn't trigger. Try again. I'm sure it's connected, but I don't know why. When I turn the forced high speed sync off, flash triggers. And there's nothing there because it doesn't sync. And again, if I turn forced high speed sync on, doesn't trigger the flash. So doesn't work with the XE2. Now, uh, let's try the XT10. Okay, trigger is on, locked, power on the camera, ISO 200, no oh, crap, other way. Okay, 200F4. Okay, um, menu, camera and flash setup, learn high speed sync, put camera in 1 1000, take a photo, it worked. Anyway, put the trigger on forced high speed sync on. I don't think it worked. Okay. Oh, let me just turn on the preview. Sound screen setup. Okay, sorry, I had to take a call. Uh, I just put the image display on continuous because I don't have a memory card. So again, learn high speed sync. One one thousand. Take a photo. There. Then. Um, we're in one one thousandth of a second. I'm going to take a photo. It works. Let's try one four thousandth of a second because that's the fastest that the XT10 would go. And it works. So, okay. Um, T20 works. E2 doesn't work. T10 works. So now we have the XT1. Okay. Uh, flash. Ah, trigger on. And then. Don't have a battery. Uh, trigger on. I'm going to put this on 1000. Learn. High speed sync. Screen set up, image display continuous, learn high speed sync, take a shot, done, uh, and now I'm going to put forest high speed sync on, we're on one one thousandth of a second, I'm going to take a shot, and it works, yay so bored right now <laughs> one two thousandth of a second works um, one four thousandth of a second works oh there's banding I have to check I have to check hold on turn the trigger off turn it back on I'm going to learn high speed sync again one one thousand Learn complete and let's take photo at one one thousand. Oh shit. Forest high speed sync on. Works no more banding. One two thousandth of a second. No more banding. One four thousandth of a second. 
no banding. So we're at one four thousandth of a second. That's the fastest the XT1 would go. Uh, let's try to take several photos. And no banding. Okay, so now we're going to try the X Pro 2. X Pro 2. It's on. We're at. Oh, battery. Sorry. Haha. <laughs> Just have two screen set up. Continuous. Okay. So we're at ISO 400. I'm going to put the X Pro 2 at 1 1000th of a second. Again, learn high speed sync. This learn high speed sync thing you just have to do once per camera. I, I have to redo it because we're testing several cameras right now so I don't know if it worked learn high speed sync 1 1000 there so now taking a photo at 1 1000th of a second I turned off the oh shh sorry I'm turning on exposure preview so you know that what is it why can I see I mean, oh, why is it I have to turn on exposure preview preview yeah okay. Why is it showing shit? Anyway, take a photo at 1 1,000th of a second. Oh, I'm in auto aperture. Okay, anyway, 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 anyway. So, I'm at F4 right now. F4, 1 1,000th of a second. Take a photo. It's good. 1 2,000th. It's good. One four thousand, it's good, and one eight thousand, it's also good. So, where's my memory card? I don't know where my card is. Anyway, we'll try taking a photo in rapid succession. So, it's all good. One eight thousandth of a second, F4. So, X Pro 2 works. And, and last, we have the Fujifilm X-T2. So, I have to put the battery inside. Triggers on. Aperture at f4 and then again learn high speed sync 1 1000th of a second take a shot there so now we make sure forest high speed sync is on take a photo at 1 2000th of a second works Oh shit, is there banding? Yeah, there's banding. So let's redo Learn High Speed Sync. There. And let's try it at 1 2000. No more banding. 4000. No banding. 8000. No banding as well. So let me just look for my memory card SD card because I want to show you that I could take photos fast and there wouldn't be any problem with that
there. So because I'm using a low speed card, let me set this to small resolution. So this is again, can you see that? That's one eight thousandth of a second. F4 and let's change this to ISO. Uh, nah, 200. There. So again, let's take several photos. I have to wait for the cycle time. Sorry, close your eyes. <laughs> okay, so that's that. Playback. There, 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 there. So there's no change in color. Uh, recycle time keeps up fa uh, fairly fast. Look at the power here. It's on half power. So I think recycle time keeps up fairly fast. Let's try to shoot it at, although I might be killing my eyes, one full power. So you might want to close your eyes. I'll close my eyes too. That's one. That's two. It's very hot right now. Three, four, five. So checking playback. Two, three, four, five. So, okay, conclusion. Cactus V62 works on these cameras. Again, it works on the T2, T1, Pro 2, T10, T20. It does not work on the XE2 Echo 2. I don't know why. So, to go through the setup again, I have two Cactus V6 2 triggers. One for on top, the, on top of the camera. One for the strobe unit. Connected by a 3.5mm sync jack. And again, the strobe is a the Godox AD600 VM uh, battery powered stroke. So huge. There's someone I have to thank. I have to thank. Uh, I have to thank Pop Manuel because he texted me earlier this morning saying that he just got the Godox AD200 and it worked well when he connected the cactus via 3.5 mil sync port. So again, thanks to him and. There you have it. Uh, if you need high speed sync on the Fujifilm cameras, you can get the Cactus triggers. It works.